Welcome back to Find Your Perfect Basketball Camps, the step-by-step -step video guide to learning, finding, and saving money on these basketball camps. Today, Module 4, the Gather Step Overview, Finding Basketball Camps, the Big Picture. The Big Picture here, going to quickly go over everything. Before we jump into that, let's recap the thinking module we did last, Step 2. Post questions to get you thinking about what would make the perfect basketball camp for your son or daughter. We asked questions about their age, skill level, your location, dates available, budget, everything that might be important when you're looking for a basketball camp. Gave you some tips to go along with those questions, possibilities to consider like carpooling with another parent to camp. Also posed some more questions to get you thinking about the intangibles, those really important parts of camp. That may be the educational value that will pay off not only while your son or daughter is playing basketball, but when they wait, when they're done, when they're done with their basketball career, when they're living life as an adult, what are some of the lessons, those intangibles that they could learn at camp? Today's game plan. Very excited. We're going to go over everything really quick. We are officially on to step three, that gather step of our step-by-step -step guide. In this module, we're going over everything we'll need to learn, everything we will be learning over the next four modules. Don't worry, we're not packing it all into one. We got it separated because it's a lot of material. We're going to be showing you a lot of different things. In this module, we will show you the Gather Camps form, a tool I created to help you track the important info of camp. It's the shortest module in the course. We're going to do it really quick because I know you're going to be excited about the next step, this next gather steps. Just give you a quick overview uh, where we're going to go out there and find camps. Today's rookie mistake and a bonus. The rookie mistake, not writing down camps you're interested in as you're going along and doing your search. You're going to save yourself a lot of time and overwhelm if you write down notes of camps you're interested in. And that you're going to save time by not looking over at the same camp. And you're, you might want to go off your memory and do as you do your search. Not a good idea, though, because you don't want to waste. If you want to waste time, go ahead and do it. But I don't think you do. So write them down so you don't look, o look over them over and over again. And you're going to save overwhelm by staying organized. Avoid this rookie mistake. And this is very convenient because to avoid this rookie mistake, I created the Gather Camps form. The Gather Camps form is the same info I write down when doing a detailed camp search for parents. It helps me stay organized. Hopefully it will for you too. It, you can fit 15 different camps on the form, which is great. A lot of camps definitely don't need all those camps. But if you do find 15, you're on a track to creating a great summer. As we go through the next four steps, feel free to do your own search after I go through the step and record any camps you find. So watch what I do and then do what I do after each step. Pro tip really quick, recommend filling it out on your computer rather than printing it out because it will be easier to save the links. You can copy and paste them right into the form. Here it is, the Gather Camps basketball form. Real simple, you'll see the 15... Uh, different sections to list the camp on the left. We have the camp name, the camp link, the location, the dates. And if you find a camp that you might want to go to twice, go ahead and list it twice so you can list two different dates. Maybe you're thinking about a father-son camp or something of that nature with an advanced camp for the same organization. You can write them both down for both the dates. The cost, which will help you budget when we start to get what camps you're going to want to sign up for organized, and the why. Why do you want to go to this camp? What makes it different, unique? Good, good to make a detailed explanation for this so then when it comes down to really picking and choosing, you understand, or at least you can spark your memory to remember why you wrote this camp down and why you thought it would be a good choice for your kid. Next four gather camp modules, gather those camps modules, 
We're going to go over those real quick. And now that we have the Gather Camps tool to stay organized, we're going to quickly go over the different resources we're going to use to collect basketball camps. And number one is next module will be youthbasketballcamps.com, then college basketball camp websites, then national elite and showcase camp websites. And last, we'll wrap up by doing a Google search the right way. Next module, we'll be doing navigating youthbasketballcamps.com. We'll check out this really awesome website that a really cool person made. And that person was me. Not that I'm really cool, but it is an awesome website. I'm really excited, really. I'll be pumped when I get to show you around. I'm sure you've been there, but I'll show you quickly everything you need to know, the ins and outs. I'll quickly share my screen with you on that youthbasketballcamps.com module and every gather camp module so you can see exactly what I do. I'm really just going to hold your hand through the whole process and show you exactly what you need to do. Hopefully you'll pick up some tips or I know you're going to pick up some tips so that will save some time. On my on youthbasketballcamps.com on my site we're going to go over how to discover college those national camps, the celebrity camps, and international camps as well. Second source we're going to look over are college websites. We're going to look at websites for colleges of all sizes so you can see how they are all structured, believe it or not. Depending on the size of the college, depending on how much money they get to spend on creating their website, will determine where the camps are. And I picked up on some patterns that will save you some time as you go through your search. And those are the camps from the D1, D2, D3, and NAIA college sizes. We're going to go over all those websites, all the different kinds. I'm going to use my five plus years of experience now searching for college camps. And I've spent a lot of time doing it to show you exactly where to look and find those hidden camps, which we'll get into that a little bit more. But basically just know that there are some camps that are hard to find out there. National Elite and Showcase Camps, that will be our next module after that. If you remember, National Basketball Camps are camps held all around the U.S. We're going to walk you through some of the most popular national camps to show you to quickly determine if there are camps in your area because remember these camps have 50, 60 over a hundred different camp locations and dates and you're gonna just want to quickly go over some of these national camp websites to see if there's anything in your area and I'll show you how to quickly do that many of the national now as we as we as basketball camps continue to advance get advanced and evolve a lot of the camps that were elite are now also becoming national camps because they are increasing their programs to make their business better because remember that basketball camps are a business. They want to attract younger players, which is good for the, the business and younger players because they're giving that knowledge earlier on if the younger players are ready to get it. So we're going to go over some elite and national, and some of them are walking a thin line between either or some or both and I'll show you what that means and why there's two different kinds and all the different programs we're going to also go over a showcase aka exposure camps which have been gaining a ton of popularity as well because kids are learning basket advanced basketball really early I created a Instagram account recently for the youth basketball camps just actually to promote the website but really just all about basketball camps in general and pictures and provide some information. And there's so many kids who are five, six, seven, eight, so young doing crazy basketball drills with two balls. And they are interested in these showcase camps. You may be out, out there listening saying, hey, that's me or that's my kid, son or daughter. And you, you may be interested in these showcase camps, so I'm going to go over them. But don't worry, if your son or daughter is just getting into basketball in, in its middle school or maybe even early high school, you still have plenty of time to really work on their game and get it better. There's so many great resources out there. The last step for gathering camps, we're going to wrap it up with doing a Google search the right way. We'll go, we're going to do a couple Google searches for basketball camps in a couple different cities. 
Recom recommend doing a Google search last because it can be messy and there's a lot of bad info that can waste your time. I don't want you to be searching in all that bad info. It's also good to do last as a safeguard in case you missed any camps during the first three gather steps. Google search is also helpful to find those camps at community colleges, high schools, rec centers, but there can be problem with, with doing this too. We'll address in the module. No, no websites really list all those community colleges, high schools, rec centers. There's a ton of camp info. A lot of times they get outdated pretty quickly from year to year as camps change, maybe dates change. Things just change and it's hard to keep track of it all. But I'll show you how doing this Google search, it'll we'll quickly be able to find all the camps in all these places or discover camps if they're in your area. All right, that'll wrap up this overview module. We basically just went over what we're going to do and learn over the next few gather modules. Highly, again, highly recommend using the Gather Camps forum to save your time, stay organized, avoid any overwhelm. Don't want to find a perfect camp just to forget it later. So let's write it down. And up next, the next module, learn how to navigate youthbasketballcamps.com. Super excited for that really excited to show you around. So I will see you in that module.